about the Bible in some real fun ways. Grab a snack from the kitchen and bring your ears for listening. St. Paul's Kids, yeah, St. Paul's Kids, yeah, hey! The treasure map. I am getting closer to the treasure. I love treasure maps. I know. Remember uh, a couple weeks ago when I found the actual X? You, you, you did? Yeah. You weren't here that week, but uh, we found the X. But I hear that there is actually a treasure. So I've been kind of reading the map. <gasps> a treasure? A treasure. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm getting ready to go on a treasure hunt. And I think I'm going to... Oh, think... can I go? Can I go? Well, you can't just go. Yeah, I can. No, not everybody can go. Oh, I have you... a backpack with all the tools you'll need. Okay, here's the thing. As long as you know the secret handshake. Oh, I know yeah. it. You know the secret handshake? Well, of course. Well, if you know the secret handshake, then you'll it. get to go. All right. Okay, you ready? Yep. Yeah. Um, um, what are you doing? I'm doing the handshake. I know it. You said you knew the secret handshake. I, I do. One more time. Ready? Yeah, I know. You ready? Yeah. Remember? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was not even close. The secret handshake. Of course it's a secret, but she didn't even know it. Now remember, our theme this month is Dig Deep. Discovering what matters most. And our life app is wisdom. We're finding out what you should do and just doing it. That's all it takes. Wisdom is finding out what you should do and do it. Pretty simple. Now, I don't know if Miss Carissa learned the secret handshake or if she was all about the treasure, but we're gonna continue to dig deep to see what we can learn this week. You guys, hold on. I'm gonna go get Miss Carissa and we'll come right back for worship. I'm so glad you guys are here. Are you ready for worship? Get up off the couch, get up off the floor, and let's worship. Are you ready to worship? Yep, just practicing that secret handshake. Oh, so you still think you know it? Yeah, I'm getting it down. Were you just nervous? Um, I think I got it. No. No, no, that's not part of it. That's not part of it. <laughs> it is part of it. Well, true. <laughs> it's part of the secret handshake. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for worship? Yeah. Are you guys ready? They already got up off the couch. All right, well, let's do it. Are you guys, let's do this. Wait, it's, a, it, it's a very new song, and this one is brand new. Okay. It's me. from Vacation Bible School. Okay, so it's not really new. Well, for these guys, it might be just like brand new. He comforts us. You guys ready? Let's learn this new song, He Comforts Us. This is? Mm, comfort. I give it the best okay, hugs. Guys, here we go. Here we go. Talk to 
Frank Cotot here, and we interrupt this program for things you didn't know. And we have a special guest again today, and I'd like to invite Carissa Wood onto the show. Hi, Carissa. Hi, Chad. How's it going? So good. So you are on the show for the very first time. Yeah, first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I'm so glad you're Kinda. here. Yeah, what? Kind of. Kind of the first time? Well, yeah. this this show. This show, yeah. Yeah, this show. You're on the show, but you're... First time on this, this show, show for things you, you didn't, didn't know. know. Yeah. So, you know, you're um, you're supposed to start eating no. this right away. Oh. So, the, the kids all know that you're on the uh, Todd and Carissa show. But there's something else you do here at St. Paul's. Uh -huh. Could you tell the viewing audience what you do? I'm a teacher. You're a teacher? Yeah, here at St. Paul's. Well, what do you teach? Pre-kindergarten. Pre-K? So you're a pre-K teacher. <laughs> that is awesome. I love pre-K teachers. I just do. That is awesome. That's yeah. where they get their start. They're getting ready for kindergarten. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. Give me a high five on that. Yeah. That is so Man, awesome. your snacks are so good. You like those? Yeah, I love them. Yeah, so you're on the show, Things You Didn't Know. Oh. Did you know that an anteater eats over 35,000 ants a day? Oh, an anteater. Okay. Yeah, 35,000 ants. Things You Didn't Know. Yeah. And I'm so glad you love the chocolate-covered ants. Um, They're one of my what? favorites. I'm sorry, what did you say? These are chocolate covered ants. <laughs> Things you didn't know. Mm. I thought you liked them. Yeah, I gotta go. She can go now. Things you didn't know. Yummy snacks. Mmm. 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 Mm. Crunchy and satisfying. Things you didn't know. Welcome to Bible. Uh, you forgot these snacks. Uh, man, I don't know about you, but there is nothing good about chocolate covered ants. They're gross. Guys, go grab your Bibles. Let's get started. All right, friends, let's turn to the table of contents. Remember, your Bible is broken up into two sections, the Old Testament and the New Testament. This month, we're in the New Testament. So we're looking for James. Go ahead and take a look. Awesome, there's James. So in my Bible, it's 1,413. Remember, the page numbers will be a little different, so find out what page number your James is in, and then we're going to start looking for that number. Awesome, don't forget your page numbers are in the top right corner of your Bible. James is almost all the way to the end. All right, now that you have found James, we're in chapter one. That's the big number, and so easy, because it's the first chapter of James. Then our verse is five. So we're looking for a little number five. Here we go. There it is. Let's read it together. If any of you needs wisdom, you should ask God for it. He will give it to you. God gives freely to everyone and doesn't find fault. Guys, how cool is that, that our God does not find faults? I don't know about you, but I got plenty. And I'm so glad that he doesn't see them. And no matter what, when I ask for wisdom, always provides. I might be in a bad situation. I might need some wisdom. We could all use it. So get to praying guys. See you next week. That was an awesome Bible verse. I hope that you're taking time to look that up in your Bible and trying to memorize it because those are those things that you can memorize and keep uh, for when you need them because you never know when those Bible verses will come in handy because the Bible teaches us all kinds of things. So today, our story is still about King Solomon. And the reason we're spending so much on King Solomon is because he was a very wise king. And he did the right thing. He asked God for wisdom. He could have asked for so much, but because of his wisdom, he made right decisions and he always called on God for his help. And I was thinking about that because uh, we're all getting ready to start school. And no matter what school you're going to, you're going to have groups of friends. And, and some of you have more than one friend. Some of you have a group of friends here and a group of friends there. And I remember when I was growing up that I had a group of friends that I hung out with for the, for the most part. And we did a lot of things together. But I also had this other group of friends that we did some things once in a while. 
Now, I loved all my friends, but I will tell you that my group of friends that I did most of the things with, we were all kind of on the same page. We tried to do the right things, and not that we were perfect, but we really held each other accountable. And when some bad situations would come up where we wanted to do something wrong, we, we talked about it. And it, it helped. It helped keep me on track. And I, and I hope that I was that friend for somebody else also. But then there was a thing we talked about last week called peer pressure. Uh, peer pressure is one of those things where you, you really want to probably say no, that you know it's not the right thing to do, but you want to fit in also. And, and that was me from time to time. These kids that I would hang out with once in a while, they weren't making the best decisions. But at the time I thought, oh well, I want to fit in with this group too because it's all about the friends. And so I remember this, this one time they said that they were going to go out into the backwoods that was kind of back of our playground at school. And um, I was in fifth grade. And I'm not proud of this because I uh, went ahead and fell into the, the wrong thing. These kids decided that they were going to go back into the woods and one of the kids had stole some cigarettes. Yeah, some cigarettes. And went back to the woods and they said, come on, we're all going to learn how to smoke. And he had matches and he lit up this cigarette and he took a puff and he started coughing. And all of this stuff was pretty bad news. But then it came to my turn. Everybody else had tried and they're, come on, Todd, if you're our buddy, you're going to do that. And sure enough. I decided that I was going to take a puff of that cigarette and I did it and I started coughing and it was terrible and I just was like, why did I do it? Number one, I wasn't old enough and number two, I was just falling into peer pressure. It could have been anything that wasn't right that I said yes to and, and I thought about that and I, I didn't know what to do until right at that moment, our principal yelled at us. Some kids had told him what was going on and they came down and they caught us in the woods and they had to make the phone call to my parents to tell them what I had done. Now typically my mom didn't understand because in fifth grade she couldn't believe that I would smoke a cigarette. I couldn't believe I did it either. I tried to explain it was peer pressure but that day I learned that I shouldn't always do what everybody else does. I know it's crazy. It's crazy and there were other mistakes that I made along the way but as I made mistakes I learn from them. So as long as we can learn by some of those things that we do, it makes us more wise. So today I want you to listen to the Bible story again. It's about King Solomon and his son, and when his son became king on some of the choices he made. Listen to this. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story the epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 10. For over 40 years, King Solomon ruled over Israel. During that time, he did some pretty amazing things, like building a breathtaking temple for the Lord in a beautiful palace for himself. He received visitors from all over the world. He shared with others the wisdom God had given him. Much of this wisdom can be found in the book of Proverbs, including this advice on how to gain wisdom. Walk with wise people and become wise. A companion of foolish people suffers harm. Unfortunately, Solomon's son, Rehoboam, did not pay attention to his father's words. He believed his way was best. And when Solomon died, Rehoboam became king of Israel. All hail, All hail king, king Rehoboam! Wow, check me out! Golden crown, spiffy palace, this is the life! Though the kingdom was strong under Solomon, he made the people work extremely hard. Now the Israelites wanted to see how this new king would treat them. Led by a man named Jeroboam, they came to see the king. Hey, you stole my name. It's Jeroboam, not Rehoboam. <laughs> Whatevs, Jer. Now what do you want? Your father made us work very hard. Let us take more breaks and we'll serve you well. Sounds like you want to slack off. We just need a little more vacay time. Then we'll be ready to give it all we got. Uh, well, 
Come back in three days, Jer. Jeroboam and the Israelites left. Rehoboam paced the floor, trying to come up with a good answer. Yeah, no, maybe. Many times when Solomon needed wisdom, he asked God for it. Rehoboam didn't bother to talk to God, but he did at least talk to his father's wise advisors. The people want me to give them a break so they don't have to work so hard. What do you say? Be kind to them. Absolutely, give them what they're asking for. You'll win their loyalty that way. Then they will serve you well. Huh. Instead of taking the advice of these wise men, Rehoboam decided to ask his buddies, the guys he had grown up with. He found them eating honey cakes and debating racing chariots. Gotta go with gold rims is what I say. Nah, gold is all show. You have to add some diamonds for traction. Hey guys. Yo. What is up, my man? People want me to give them a break so they don't have to work so hard. What do you say? Oh, this is good. You get to do the real king stuff now. You gotta show them who's boss. Uh, they think your dad was tough? Tell them my pinky finger's stronger than my daddy's legs. <laughs> yeah, and, and my dad gave you a heavy load, but you haven't seen nothing yet. I am gonna lay it on you. <laughs> Rehoboam frowned. He thought hard for two whole seconds. Whoa, you guys are good. I'm totally doing that. After three days, Jeroboam and the Israelites with him returned. Hey, Jer. Your Majesty, will you lighten the heavy workload your father gave us? <laughs> my pinky finger is stronger than my father's legs. My father put a heavy load on your shoulders, but I'll make it even heavier. My father punished stragglers. I'll double it up. Rehoboam finished with a flourish. He waited for people to tremble and bow low. Are you kidding me? Jeroboam turned to the Israelites. We don't want anything to do with this joker or the rest of David's family. Let's go back to our homes and start our own kingdom. Yeah! Hey, hey, wait. No, no, you can't do that. I'm in charge. Yeah, you're in charge of yourself. Good luck with that. Jeroboam and the men with him marched out and returned to their homes. From that day, the nation was split into two kingdoms. Rehoboam still ruled in Judah, but Jeroboam was made king of Israel. Totally not my fault. Rehoboam failed to listen to his father's own words. Walk with wise people and become wise. A companion of foolish people suffers harm. Rehoboam's foolishness nearly cost him all of the kingdom. All right, are you guys ready for our question of the week? I love the Bible story, so we're talking about wisdom. So the questions are all about being wise. So I want you to think about the question, talk to the adults in your life, ask your friends on this question and see what the answer might be too. So let's bring Miss Carissa in and see if she's ready to answer the question. What is it? You ready for it? Yeah. Okay, here's the question. Okay. Who is the wisest person you know? <laughs> well, that's really easy. Oh, it is? Yeah. Who is it? Me. <laughs> You're the wisest person you know. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Have you been taking any vitamin W lately? Yeah, that's why I'm the wisest person I know. Yeah, you proved that. What about that? you? Who's the wisest person you know? The wisest person I know, what I would have to say is it. Me. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. No, that's not what I was going to say. Oh. I mean, you're wise about some things. But I think um, wisdom sometimes comes with, with age. age. So yeah. you are I, the wisest person. You not know. me. Oh. I think it's my grandma. Hmm. My grandma was. So she beat me by like 50 years. I get it. Yeah, close. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 50 yeah. years. But you know what? Wisdom is something that we just accumulate over time. It's, it's experiences we have in life. Oh, and I when you don't know what to do, you call on God to say, you know what, God? I need you to help me be wise. Just like oh, King Solomon. For sure. Just wanted wisdom. I ask God questions all the time. Good for you. Why?
Usually. And that's okay, that's okay. Guys, ask the question, who is the wisest person you know? Think about it and maybe talk to that person and tell them that you think they're the wisest person that you know. Oh, shucks. Mm -hmm. So here's so something else I want you to do to give back. Oh, yes, what is it? So think about the wisest person you know. Okay. And write them a letter. Oh, man, my mailbox is gonna be full this week. Oh, letters coming to yeah. you? No, you're writing them a letter. Oh. The wisest person you know. So How do you I, write yourself a letter? <laughs> you typically don't. Guys, you think about so this. Good. Who's the wisest person you know? And then write them a letter. Awesome. That's a great way to give back. Excellent. Are you guys ready to pray? Wonderful. Let's do this. Put this arm up. Oh. Put this arm up. Mm -hmm. Open this hand, this hand. Bring it together and let's bow our heads. Lord, I want to thank you for today. As uh, we heard more about King Solomon, and how sometimes we just have to really focus on the right answer. Help us to always turn to you when we need wisdom. And Lord, we just thank you for all you do in our lives. And it's in your most precious name we all say, amen. 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 All right, are you ready for that secret handshake? Uh, yeah, uh, you know what? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Very good. <laughs> Got ya. Let's go. You guys make it a great week. <laughs>